Hi guys, Bobby from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the Terrapin Brewing Company called the Hopscutioner. Don't think I've done this one. If I have, whoopsie poopsie, but I don't think I have. Um, this is an India Pale Ale. This is actually bottled, or canned, 2417, and it is 26. Yeah. I can't believe it. How the hell do I get something this fresh? I have no idea. A Simcoe Amarillo Cascade Centennial Warrior Chinook. So that's a hell of a hop combo. And uh, six varieties of hops, blah, blah, blah. Killer IPA. And it comes in at exactly who fucking knows IBU or ABV. Um, who does fucking know? I have no idea what ABV this is. 7.3. Okay. So an Imperial. Almost pushing, almost pushing the Imperialized, idea, uh, or the double or Imperialized. Usually that doesn't happen until about 8, as far as I know. So this is just a good old kick in your face, regular old IPA with six different hops. Here it is. In the goodness of the goodness. I don't know if I can put this someplace so you can see it. You can kind of see it there. Whatever. Okay, see this bad boy is definitely a straw, straw and honey hues kind of mixing together there. Soft carbonation, bubbly soap sudsy head. Mmm, wow, okay, perfumey, floral, earthy, grapefruit, a little touch of that kind of um, confectionery sugar in there. So even that slightest hint of a brightness coming out through all those, all those hops, but you definitely get a, you're definitely getting a perfumey floral note, grapefruit, hints of pine, hints of it, just nuances of pine, more of that huge perfumey floral bloom, bloom right in the face, little zesty notes, zesty grapefruits coming through. So let's do this one. Cheers. Yeah. Pine's definitely in the mouth. There's drying pine in, in the in the palate. Yeah, the pine's on the back end drying the palate out. Definitely got that that very floral and perfumey note from these hops. Yeah. Definitely got a massive amount of grapefruit walking around the whole palette the whole time. Just different layers of it here and there, bouncing it back, bouncing it back. The end result is that drying earthiness and pine, and then you have that grapefruit kind of coming with it. But there was a whole truckload of very perfumey and very floral aromatic hops coming with that. softest hint of that confectionery sugar sweetness touch of brightness in there too in the back end of course the hops stand out way more than the malt does but it's a soft subtle it's the low side of a medium body overall it's very easy to drink 7.3 is completely hidden hmm they're from Athens Georgia I can tell you that I know that hmm I just enjoyed their Wake and Bake recently, and that was an outstanding beer. Love that beer. Even though it was a little lighter than most Imperial Stouts, like 1050, it's a little lighter on the body. There's so much character to that beer that it's just tastes delicious. Mm. Well, this is a fine IPA. Um, it's not too bombastic, and I'm pr I want to make sure for anybody out there that when they bottle the the they they date the can, it's got to be a born on date, not a Best Buy date. So I'm just kind of confused. I got a beer this fresh. <coughs> Excuse me, because so I got a 12 pack of it. This is the first one out of the 12 pack. It's a nice beer. 
It's not definitely not my favorite IPA. There is a little bit of a dankness to it, a soft, musty dankness, but it doesn't borderline anything off-putting to the Simcoe and stuff working in there in the Chinook. But yeah, just tons of grapefruit, pine. It does have floral perfumey notes. They're still wafting on the palate too. Um, overall, it's good. Um, it's not blowing my doors off or anything like that, but overall, I'd give it an 8.5 without a problem. 8.5, that's that's a fair grade for this, uh, for me anyway, for the Hop Secutioner India Pale Ale from Terrapin Brewing Company from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, yeah, they, are, they have some massive amounts of hops going on here, some heavy hitters. I'm not pulling any orange or anything like that. Any tangerine, any orange. So the Amarillo is, uh, I don't know if it was an early edition and it's just you're getting bittering out of it instead. But the only real zesty fruit that I'm pulling out of it is grapefruit. That's about it. Uh, the rest is so perfumey and aromatic with the floral notes and stuff that it's kind of, it might be overshadowing the orange and the tangerines and stuff like that. But overall, pretty damn good. 8.5. It's been Paul Pia Brew News. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to go to bed. Bye.